Tracy. So you're the one that's been following me. I'm the one. Uh, no mistake. No mistake. I figure there's $2,080 on your head, mister. I want it for the wife and son of a man you killed. Who? Jim Rainier. Rainier? Oh, a boy in Montana Territory, about 25 years old? That's right. I remember his wife. Real pretty. The boy had a reputation I wanted to find out. You want to go back on the saddle or over it, mister? I don't care which. I thought I'd sleep the night in a bed. They say you're very fast. Well, we'll see. Been waiting for you for a long time. You got a big reputation. I've been wanting to find out if you earned it honestly. You should have done that three or four years ago, Tracy. Could have lost me in the mountains. What pushes a man like that? You don't know? No. You wanted your scout, mister. Why? To prove his finger could twitch faster than mine? Sheriff? You. They say it was a fair fight, but I don't like killings in my town. Now, you get your horse and get out. There's a Wells Fargo bounty on that man. How much? $2,080. Well, he was worth the killing, wasn't he, bounty hunter? I'm going to give that money to an orphan, mister. And a pig's eye you are. I told you I don't like killings and I don't like killers. Now, you leave your name and where you can be found, we'll let you know about the bounty. Now, get out. There's a Wells Fargo office here. As soon as they verify that bounty and pay me, I'll get out. Now, you can get that verification in a half hour. Don't push me. I've just had to kill a man. I don't want to be pushed. I'll remember that. If I have to push you, I'll use a shotgun to do it with. <laughs> No. Can you wash up? Back there. Surely get him some hot water. some hot coffee? Sure. Thank you. Bartender, the bottle. 
Sure. Tables. You think I knew him out there, huh? Are you going to eat? Yeah. Well, then you won't mind keeping your hands on the table. The same and some pie. Did anyone ever tell you you're pretty? Yeah, lots of times. I guess they have at that. You sure I can't get you anything to eat? Thank you. You ain't pretty. But you got something she wants. Well, what have I got that you want, son? My life? How many men have you killed, mister? Twelve. Now do you want to answer my question? I didn't get your name. What is it? Do you like the smell of death? Do you like being around it? I've met some like that. Twelve men. I guess you have. What's your name, mister? For the place? No, nope, for myself. Have a family? You're not going to ask me the story of my life, are you? <laughs> I guess I better not. You do, and I'll charge you for it. That's extra. That's right. Hey, honey. Julie, didn't you hear? I guess I gotta go. You know him? No. How long have you worked here? A couple months. I'm trying to get to San Francisco. Hey, you, come here. I don't like to eat alone. Just a minute, I'll be right there. He from around here? I've never seen him before in my life. You just call me if you want anything. It's a quiet town. We don't have much excitement. I saw that Tracy kill a man in Kansas once. Oh, five years ago. He was the fastest man in the world then. Quicker than the eye could follow. Now he's dead in a two-bit town nobody ever heard of. Hmm. Did you know him? No, I'd heard of him. He must have heard of you, too. Or he wouldn't have wanted to add you to his list. I'm nobody to know. I'd have sworn I'd seen you somewhere before. No. I'm 54 years old and got to die in a town like this. So you've got to excuse me if I'm a little nosy and run off at the mouth. You know, when I was a little younger, I looked something like you. You going to spend the night? Maybe. Mr. Kirby, is the room at the end vacant? Hmm? You'll need an extra blanket. Would you 
What's your name, mister? Do you know who you killed today? Five years ago, you couldn't have done that. Five years ago, he was the fastest man alive. Did you know that? I saw you, mister. You're not that good. Five years ago, Ben Tracy would have beaten you. Yeah, five years ago, he would have killed you. Was he something to you, son? Ken? He was a magical person. The fastest man alive. It's a shame you killed him. You're not that good. What's your name, mister? Huh? You really that ashamed of your name? Maybe before you go, you'll tell me. If I have to, son. What does he want with you? My scalp. Let me some more coffee. Julie, more coffee. You're right. This would be a bad place to die. How much did you leave him? Who? Tracy. You saw you dropped some money out there. It was for the burying, wasn't it? Twenty dollars. It was for the burying. Here's your coffee. Thank you. Julie. Would you like to talk? Aren't you going to pay me? For what? Talk, drink. I'm a saloon girl, didn't you notice? I like your company. Five dollars. I must be worth five dollars. You're worth a lot more than that, Julie. of that five dollars would have been yours. Look, she come to me, I didn't bring her. You got no right to talk to me that way. I like her. She's a nice girl. Can't change human beings. Why? Was she born to a saloon? No. Maybe she was born for it. You may be right. It's the thing I don't want to believe. He told me to tell you what he'd done. price of a bullet. You're wrong. He was worth that. No, not him, nor you, nor any of your kind. They are $2,000. You're shy, 80. Yeah, for the burying. I left $20 on the body for the burying. I wouldn't buy a pine box for your friend. It'll buy a hole in Boot Hill, mister. That's what you people are going to give him. And besides, I told you that money isn't mine. That's right. You told me. Gonna give it to some poor family. And I just hope when your time comes, you'll make some poor family happy. Come back here and die. We'll save a hole for you.
Jeff, can I talk to you? Will it cost me five dollars? No. Start talking. Look, I think you better go. I think that boy upstairs means to kill you. Did he say so? No. He meant for you to do something about him beating me that way. I know you killed that man out there, but that boy might just be fast enough to kill you. Why don't you go? I'm not ready yet, Julie. Do you want to kill him? No. He wants to kill you? Yes, he does. But why? I don't know. Fifteen years ago, I might have known. Because he wants to prove he's faster. But I wouldn't know why. I never killed a man in my life that way. Julie. When I leave, I'll give you an address. If you ever need help, you write. I can't read nor write. Have someone do it for you. Is there anything I can do for you now? Like what? Take me away from here? Like home, maybe? Yours? <laughs> no, I'm afraid that post office box in Kansas City is a little small. That's the only home I have. I thought perhaps your home. It'd be better than this. Look, mister, I'm lucky. Don't you feel sorry for me? I never had it so good in my life. I was born in a shack to a family of 15. I spent over half my life there. Do you know what happened to me there? No, you can't even think on it. Well, I'm happy now. I meet lots of nice folks. Most times they're polite. Sometimes they're generous. You want to hear more about the poor lost girl in the saloon? You pay five dollars. Some people like to hear it and they pay for five dollars. I meant no offense, Julie. Whatever your name is. You want to say something to me, son? I want to kill you. Or make you crawl. It don't matter to me which. Was there something to you? Tracy? I wanted to kill him. For three years, I wanted to be fast enough to kill Ben Tracy. I've been looking for him since summer. Did he do something to you, or to your kin? No. He was the fastest man alive, till I was born. I was born to kill Ben Tracy, to be the fastest gun alive. But you got there first. You took his life away from me. Now I'm going to take your life away from you. Why? You don't know? I guess it's like my granddaddy used to say, mister. It's Lucifer coming up from the pit. Lucifer was man. God can create life. But I can take it away. Unless you want to crawl. I mean, get on your knees and crawl. <laughs> Come on. Huh? Sit. 
Come on, Doctor. Turn around. Come on, Kate. Kate! Turn around! Kate! I like that. If I put my mind to it, I could do it. Sure of it. I'll write you from San Francisco. What's in San Francisco for you, Julie? Nothing. Fancy your place than this. Fancy your dress. Would you like to take me there, mister? No. If you were four or five years older, lady, I'd go to the devil with you. 